sorry about the audio in the last one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. CJ, I texted him five times, can you send me the audio for the podcast? And he and finally did. did. And he sent me the wrong audio for a different video. And just like five seconds ago, I accidentally deleted the audio of the podcast that I thought he already sent me. So it was, I'd say, 75% your fault, 25% my fault. No, actually, I wasn't going to delete the audio, and he was the one that deleted it. So I really think it was his fault. I deleted it because you had already sent it to me. And I, I made a mistake, but I didn't delete it. You just sat, sat here and deleted it. I deleted it because I thought I already had it, and then I realized I got new recording. I didn't get TT3 or whatever it was called. Yeah, but... You could have just sent me both, but you sent me one. I didn't even know what new recording was. I thought I sent the... Why record. would you send new recording over the one that said... I thought said- I sent TT3. Because <laughs> I, no, I remember looking at TT3. But I didn't delete it, is all. Anyway... What's up, everybody? I'm Brett Medlock. And I'm CJ. Curtis. He's Curtis, CJ, Slimmy. This is Talking Telltale, where we talk about every episode of a Telltale game. We're here to talk. We're here to talk about you. The Walking Dead. Season 1, Episode 4. Go watch the other three episodes. Sorry about the third episode. It has terrible audio, because we normally record second audio right here. But this time, we had to use the camera's audio, and you're going to hear my kids' toys. <laughs> you're going to hear a bunch of toys and stuff. But, uh... <clears throat> So yeah, episode four. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Episode four. At the very beginning, you f- you take your group into this town. You're getting attacked by zombies, which has a hilarious gap where the game glitches out that I'm adding. I will. <laughs> okay, so before you watch it, I'm gonna embed it in the video. <laughs> The, like, Telltale games always run really bad, yeah. especially older ones, but this section, <laughs> <laughs> the pause was so long that it made it super funny, so... I, I think I think that you may have had a better experience than me, because I feel like I had a lot of really long pauses like that when I played. Uh, that was bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it right here. Kenny! A little too close, don't you think? So, yeah, as you see, that was you hilarious. See that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. He just stares. Yeah, he just looks at the camera for like five seconds <laughs> or like ten seconds. I don't even remember, but it was a long time. Um, so, yeah, you're getting attacked by zombies. You head over to this house, and Clementine lets you inside because she goes to the doggy door. And then you, everyone's hanging out, and Kenny, you find him up in the attic, and he's staring at this little boy zombie who looks a lot like Duck. Yeah, so he's thinking about his kid. Yes, yeah, so we're thinking about his kid yeah. that just died the last episode. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, what did you do? Did you kill another thing? I guess the zombies don't count. <laughs> well, I love this part of the episode, like the whole looking through the house, because it kind of created a whole new perspective or a whole new view of like these zombies. Like you're you're not looking at them as just zombies. You're looking at them as like people that had a life at one point and. Like, people that didn't want to become zombies, probably. Yeah. Because um, when you're going around the house, like, you look around and you see, like, the pictures of the, his family and the boy and the dog that's, yeah. like, dead in the backyard. And and then, like, so you, you're looking around the house, you see his pictures, above, like, on the fridge and the fireplace. And I, always, I loved that, like, that you were looking around the house and you're like, there used to be a family that lived here, like, that was happy. And then now, like, look what this world has become. So, like... It's a really cool part of the game, and then and then you're in this attic looking at this boy, and, and, you, and you it's crazy to think that like he's been trying to survive up here on his own in the attic, yeah. but couldn't make it. And he just died of starvation. Uh, and then Kenny, he? Kenny's looking at him, thinking about his boy because he looks similar. Yeah. And I was looking at it, looking at him, and thinking, oh, I have to do this again because. I feel like if if Kenny was the one to kill him, just like last, just like a uh, last episode. I can't remember. Did you let Kenny kill Duck? Mm, um, I I I killed Duck because okay. I didn't think he should go through it, and so I did the same thing again because I didn't want him to think about killing his kid. Yeah. So I was. This is something I wanted to do for him, and I think I think when I looked at the uh, statistics at the end, 
Yeah. That most people killed the, the kid zombie. for him. Yeah. Yeah. Because they didn't want Kenny to go through that. Kenny's been going through a lot, so. Yeah, I think I, uh, I think I killed the zombie too. It's so hard for me to remember because I literally played the game yeah. three times. Okay, I'm trying to think of what I did the first time. Um, but yeah. I'm not gonna, like, it's not a big deal. It's just a zombie shooting. <laughs> yeah. But to him, it is a big yeah, deal. Yeah, it's super emotional. So, to Lee, he easy. already killed a bunch of zombies. Mm-hmm. He's not worried about He's not thinking about anything. It's easy oh. for So, yeah, Kenny. <sighs> I, I, was, I just shot the zombie for him. Yep. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're both super tired. Because we went to bed kind of late, and then we had to get <laughs> up super early. So, I, we're, we, we both already yawned, like, twice. <laughs> uh, so... Then Kenny or Lee meets some new people and they ask if Clementine is his daughter. I just wanted to bring this one up just because I'm wondering what would you have done for like 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 what would you have told strangers at this point where Clementine could be your daughter, obviously. Yeah, I think you get asked that a few times in the game, like Yeah, you do. Is this your daughter? I think the first time I said no and then this time I said yes. Because it was two two different groups. That's interesting because I think the first time I said yes because I was new to the game. I was open to saying anything. I was open to lying. <laughs> and Open to lying and then, and then you realize <laughs> lying ruins you. Yeah. Um, and I, I, at the beginning, you know, I thought it would be better to say that it's my daughter. So that way, like, people aren't questioning me. People aren't, uh, you know, worried about... If I could take care of her and stuff like that, or and it just seems more secure to like to say that hey, this is my daughter. Yeah. So like, don't worry about us. But I think oh, there we go again. But I then think when, in the in the first episode when you lie, I think uh, the the guy at the farm knows you're lying. Yeah. So that sucked. Yeah, but and then I realized as I was playing the game, I'm like, okay, lying doesn't really work all the time. Like. Because this, yes. it, it, so this, at this point, it's after I had that epiphany that I'm not gonna kill anyone. I'm, I'm telling the truth to everyone. <laughs> you had that epiphany, and then you killed four people. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are you know it's different circumstances. Yeah. But, anyways, so this time I'm done lying. Like I'm just telling the truth to everyone. We'll like, see. We'll see. If you're done lying. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just like, no, I'm. Her parents are dead, and I'm just taking care of this girl, and I really care about her. So okay. that's that's my answer. That's what I said. I said that she was my daughter because at this point she is like a daughter to Lee. You know. Yeah. You care so deeply about her, and you're the only guardian for her who since this outbreak started. I guess, like more of your daughter than anyone else in this the first world. time I was like, yeah. like first time I didn't say she was my daughter because I was like, I, she's not like I don't really know this girl. I just met her like mm-hmm. last night. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now at this point, they've been through so much. I just say she's my daughter, so no one tries taking her or anything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I just want to talk about that one. And then they start talking about this place called Crawford, where they can get supplies there to fix their boat. And they and need these supplies, otherwise they're stuck and stranded. Yeah, and so. they're wondering if they should negotiate with the people at Crawford, or just sneak in and steal the supplies. So we're here, um, both of this guy that we met and this other girl that we met, we're both a part of Crawford, and they're both, like, runaways, and, and we're hearing all these bad things about Crawford. Yeah, like, horrible Like, they're, they're horrible people, and, and he's saying, someone's saying, like, to negotiate, it's just, like, hanging a, no- uh, a noose around your neck. Yeah. And, but at the same time, like, we don't really know them, like, so maybe negotiating is something that's, like, a possibility, like, because, like, someone, can, we can be optimistic about it, but... At the same time, like, it's so dangerous to sneak into, like, this heavily yeah. armored place, like, or civilization. Yep. And With a small and, group. Yeah, to steal supplies. Um, I, I think at first, like, it lets you make that decision. Which one would you want? Um, I think I said we should negotiate. Yeah, I, I was kind of open to that. So at first, it lets you, like, kind of make that decision, like, Lee, but... In the end... The group overall decides. Yeah, they override you, so in the end you have to sneak in. Yeah, yeah, so regardless so, you have to sneak in. Yeah. But we still like talking about choices yeah. that you think are important, even yeah. though they might not be. Mm-hmm. So then then this one is kind of connected. Do you bring Clem to go sneak in, or do you leave her at the house? Clementine, she wants to come, right? Yeah, she wants to. 
Okay. But some people don't yeah. want her to. It's crazy. It's it's dangerous. But you don't want to not have her by your side. It, it's dangerous to bring her with you into this place. But at the same time, it's kind of weird leaving her by herself in this world. Yeah, just at all. <laughs> like, just leaving her by herself at this house, where you, and you're going somewhere dangerous, like... You're you're disconnected from her. You, like I'd be worried I'd never see her again. I think she was gonna uh, hang back with just the guy with the injured leg. Yeah, yeah. So that's not very like very safe for her. Anything could happen. Like what's been happening to us? Like, any, yeah. like anything could have happened to her. Exactly. And she's already been talking to that guy who says she's gonna see her soon. Now, this this part you do have a choice, right? Yeah. Like, or does it make her come with you? I can't. Remember. I think she comes no matter what. Okay. I can't remember. That. On my game, she came with me because I let her come with me. I just, I yeah. couldn't leave her. I couldn't leave her by herself. Yeah, I I chose to bring her too, but mm-hmm. she, I th- I chose her every time I played through the game. But I'm not sure if she actually can stay. Yeah. Maybe she can because she doesn't really have any poignant moments in that yeah. school where she actually m- matters. Mm-hmm. Um. So they get to the high school. Well, oh, okay. So they get to the town and they realize. Everyone's gone. Either dead, deserted, or there's zombies. Uh-huh. So there's zombies everywhere. At first, he thinks he's sneaking up to a guard, and it's actually a zombie that he kills. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, uh... That's pretty interesting. Like, what happens to this, like... Yeah, we don't, we don't ever get any answers. It, it's, it, it, it kind of, like, opens your mind to, like, a lot of different thoughts of, like... Yeah, like what, what could have happened to this this group that was thriving? They had like it's just like the medical food in, in the Last of Us. They yeah. had a whole like yeah sound like system where they triggered zombies and just yeah, like what could have happened? There? It all went to hell. Like some like one yeah. mistake in a whole civilization can get wiped out. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So when you get there, the, the high school kid from the last episode or the episode before when he was doing deals with the the bandits or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wants to tell the group for some reason about everything he's done that's bad, and I just don't understand it. But <laughs> he, he he just can't keep it in any longer. Like things are getting so chaotic that he's and, to and, come and clean. it's like a heavy burden on him because like he feels like it might be his fault and like so it's hard for him to deal with this. And but at the same time, Kenny is like stressed because he just lost his family. Uh, he's trying to fix the boat, and so all these things are going wrong around with Kenny, and so. We're kind of thinking, uh, like me and you at least, we're thinking like it's not a good idea to tell them right now. No, it's, I it's not even a good idea to tell them ever. Yeah. At all, because in this world, it's tension that it's like unnecessary. Yeah, like it's yeah. over. That I, that even um, if that wasn't that long ago, it feels so long ago yeah. after everything we've done. Yeah. So I don't think there's any reason to tell them, and you pretty much tell him not to tell people. Yeah. But uh, he does end up telling them. Yeah. No matter what. And Kenny gets. Extremely angry. At him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it wasn't worth it. Yeah. So. Uh, so you. So then they get the stuff they need or whatever from the school. There's like a huge like, like situation where Lee and this and the girl that they met are like in this car area. But whatever. I'm gonna fast forward to they're they're running away from the, the zombies. They got all the stuff they need and they climb up to this top of this thing, and Lee's like killing a bunch of people with axes and a shotgun and stuff, and then. The guy that we were just talking about, who who wanted to come clean after he did, uh, he falls over the ledge of this thing. And and now that I think about it, wasn't there a zombie? There's a zombie attached to the bell at the top. Yeah. Is that someone who like tried killing themselves? I don't know. That could have been. Yeah. So. Like, how did he get attached to a bell? Yeah, I guess it was like a person who like. Well, this to was the Crawford suicide. area, wasn't it? Yeah. So they might have tied him up to a bell. Oh yeah, maybe they did do that. I know. Um. That'd be pretty crazy. But, uh, so he pulls him, he, he's, he's about to fall, he's, he's hanging from this ledge, and Lee is like, come on, I'll pull you up, and the, the guy's like, there's not there's, enough time. There's not enough time. And they sit there and have this conversation, <laughs> talking about whether or not there's enough time, <laughs> which I just thought was hilarious. Um, so, 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 I mean, that's kind of really funny, because there's, like, they could have pulled him up in the time that they talked about it, but that's not really, like, what we're trying to decide. Yeah. We're trying to decide if... If he's worth, like, keeping alive and yeah, keeping around. Yeah, which I just feel like, of, like, he's worth keeping alive. He knows he's made mistakes. He's obviously sorry. Yeah. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm, you know, I try to play being merciful and gracious. Oh, God. <laughs> merciful and gracious. That's, that's how I try to play. So I'm like, 
this guy, you know, he he is sorry, and so he he deserves another chance. And, and I just, even if he deserves that, I do not want. And then his he even looks mine. back at Kenny. Kenny's like, "Don't do it." <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, he has so much time to pull him up. Yeah, but and the game I was just tempted because to... I've been I always side with Kenny. But I am tired of killing people, especially because I knew Clementine was watching. I'm like, I'm not killing someone again with Clementine. Uh, was Clem watching? Yeah, she was looking. No, me. she already jumped out the window. Oh. So she wasn't watching. Yeah, but anyway, like, but she would still know. Yeah, she would. Yeah. But, like, I, I just don't want, I don't think it's my responsibility to kill this person, even if he deserves to die. At least let's talk about it with people. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, you had, you could obviously have pulled him up. It, the, basically, the question was, the guy who was hanging was like, Am I worth saving? Because I don't think I am. And Lee has to decide whether or not he's worth killing. Because that's basically but murder. And you still know that he lied to the group, and they're like kind of in a bad situation. Maybe because of yeah, him. but still another yeah. weird situation put on Lee's shoulders, where Lee has to decide whether or not he's worth live. Like he's like like whether or not he should keep living. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, come on, I, he's he can live. Pull him up. It takes two <laughs> seconds. And then when he does pull up, it's, it's not even like a button press or anything. It's like a simple, I just pull him up real quick. So he, he could have pulled him up a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, um, that kid, does he end up dying? I don't remember. We'll find out in yeah. the next episode. I think he's in season... No, I don't remember. Um, we'll find out. Uh, so... Then the worst part ever, the part that actually shocked me playing this game, when I knew I was, I was just thinking like, now what? Is whenever Lee gets bitten. Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Lee got bitten. Lee got bitten, and it was super. I wasn't expecting. Surprised. And the zombie, like it was so stupid. Like he, they go back to this house. Lee takes a nap, and then he wakes up. He realizes Clementine's not in the house. He sees her hat outside the door. He he goes and picks up the hat, and there's, like, a little bit of blood on it. And then he hears her walkie-talkie. He walks down the street. He goes to pick up the walkie-talkie, and there's a freaking zombie behind the trash can. It just bites his hand. Like, out of all ways to go, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. After everything they survived. Yeah, after everything they've been through, he picks up walkie-talkie and gets bit on the, on the hand. I was just hoping like it wasn't a bite or a zombie or something like that, but yeah, he was actually bitten. And then you yeah. basically knew all of next episode you're gonna be playing as the turning Lee, like yeah. Lee turning into a zombie, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Guys, the ending we're gonna have to talk about the ending, <laughs> but that's next episode. So you get bitten, and then the group starts walking up behind you, asking like, "What's going on?" And what did you you basically have the choice to choose if you want to tell the group you got bitten or if you don't. What did you choose? Um This is a moment where it's like kind of a deciding factor. Is this like group really like loyal? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like do they care about you? Like I I'm I'm not gonna hide anything from them. I'm I'm I like I just wanna tell the truth. Like I just try to tell the truth as much as I can and since since it was a really hard decision already, I decided to be just truthful and honest because I feel like being honest is better than them finding out later because they're gonna find out eventually. Yeah. So that's what I did. Um, do you wanna do any call-ins? Call anyone and ask what they would do if they got bit, and would they tell the group? Yeah, we can call Andrew. You wanna call Andrew or call someone else? Andrew. Andrew, I feel like we always call Andrew. Yeah, I love him. I love him too, He's but. Cool. He's probably asleep. He gets up at like two at two in the afternoon. All right, let's just not call anyone right now. You sure you don't want to try Reese? Okay, fine. That's God, by the way. So why is Reese God on your phone? Oh, that's because there's a joke one time. He thought he was right about something. And I said so that basically means you're God, and then I just changed his name. He thinks he's right. He always thinks he's right. So whatever he says is true. Yeah. Here we go. If he even answers. He's, a, he's, he's at work, but he... Hey, what's up, Reese Crammel? You're on Talking Telltale, episode four. We just wanted to ask you a quick question. I know, I know you're at work, but... If you were with a loyal group of survivors and you got bit by a zombie, would you tell them that you got bitten, or would you just let it slide? And try to hide it. And try to hide it. Uh, well, I'm kind of a 
scared of death, so uh, it just depends, you know. Because I mean, it depends on if how how you know I'm good of friends you are with the people, and if you told them, are they just gonna pull out a gun and shoot you in the face, or yeah, that's um, a that's a good question. Yeah, which they <laughs> might. But it just you know it just depends on how well you know them, how long you know them, where you heard them from before the apocalypse, and all this other stuff, but it just, you know, I would try and wing it until I would start feeling symptoms, and then I'd be like, yo, just let me know. <laughs> just let you know. Like, just let me like, you know. I've, I've come down with a little zombie butt. I feel like uh, your face is starting to look pretty tasty. I might, <laughs> yeah. I might not. Uh, you know, it's it's up to you now. I'm probably going to die in a couple minutes, so. <laughs> couple <Yeah>. minutes. <laughs> well, it is like a smaller bite, so he probably has like half a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say to live. So he has a half a day from the like from being bitten, you have half a day. Yeah, because the the smaller the bite, the longer you have until it actually takes over your body. Jeez, I mean, I thought it always like varied. Like I've seen some people last a couple, you know, a couple of days. <laughs> You've seen it personally. <laughs> You've seen it personally. <laughs> Wait, where did I get bit at? In the arm. Like, like, yeah, like, like the wrist. Yeah, well, we'll think about that. Well, see, if it was right then and there, maybe they should have done that, and then he he probably would have lived. Yeah. But that's next episode. I I, I would live with one arm. That's fine. I have another hand to masturbate with. But (laughs) Well, (laughs) well, that's a whole different thing. Uh, The next episode, you can choose to cut off his hand to... To like postpone turning, even though it's already reached his body. And we find out that that, that you know cutting an arm off doesn't work. It, you still have. So, he okay, did. So he did it too he late. Cut the arm off, he still turn in in this situation. Yeah, yeah. but he he cuts the I arm off like a couple. Die with both my hands. Well, th- that's the thing. You cut it off not knowing whether or not it'll help him live, but it actually doesn't. He still turns. Oh yeah, probably because they waited too long. They yeah. did. They waited like hours. Oh, yeah, see, they screwed up. See, I don't like people like that. <laughs> people. <laughs> but you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. You can risk an arm, to, you know, a couple more days. Or, or uh, I, I feel like I feel like if I'm gonna be a zombie anyway, then I'm just gonna be honest with the group and see what happens. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. tell the truth. Like, maybe maybe they can be helpful in some way. I don't it, know. Yeah, see, you see, it could be it could go either way. It could they could be like, yo, when you get there, if it was you know, soon, it was like, okay, let's chop off your arm. Okay, let's talk about you. Shoot him in the face right now. Yeah, like, there's just two different kinds of people, and you just gotta you just gotta really know the person and how they're gonna react. Like, I don't know, I could see CJ being like really nice and like, <laughs> oh, uh, we'll we'll try and help you live, and then I could see Brett like, you know, fuck this guy. <laughs> He's out of here. I've only known him for six years. He's one of my best friends. See ya. <laughs> I got, I got kids. I can't, I can't, I can't risk you. I would probably just lock you up and just talk to you if, um, for a while, your last final hours of your life, and mm-hmm. just reflect on all the choices you've made. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? I want to know what it's like, like when you're about to die. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I know you're in a cage and everything, but we're still friends. I'd be like, so you're about to die. You sure you don't want to change your religion real fast? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's all for now. We just this is uh, around the end of the episode, so. Yeah, thank thanks for uh, talking to us on the show, Reese. Um, I think we should call you again. Yeah, uh, and w- uh, what are you doing at work right now? Uh, I'm waiting to go to HD Supply to eat some barbecue. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's your job. You're just waiting and eating. <laughs> so wait, you're, you're you're waiting to go to HD Supply. Yes, uh, to eat like a barbecue. barbecue. You're gonna eat barbecue at a parts store in the middle of the day. Like, I mean, it's a bit. It's the warehouse, so I mean, they got like a bunch of vendors, and it's like a it's a mini party for maintenance people. Oh, okay. <laughs> a maintenance people party. Okay, that's, that's cool. Exciting. They didn't do that in the middle of the day when I was there. <laughs> I think we had it right before you started. Oh, okay. And then right after you left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. Dave and Buster's, so, uh, Yeah, Dave and Buster's. Was good. <laughs> that Those food. Pretty big pieces of ice cream cake. <laughs> it was the biggest, <laughs> biggest He ate the biggest piece of ice, ice cream, cream cake I've cake. ever seen. <laughs> that ice cream cake. I'm going to embed that video. Okay, so I'm going to embed the video of CJ saying, those are the biggest pieces of ice cream cake. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can't even show you. Is this a video you. or is this a picture? These are the biggest pieces of ice cream yet. Ice cream yet. Ice cream yet. You're too lazy to wait to cut. <laughs> Uh, the I also have, I'll sh we'll also show you Reese's piece. I have his piece. <laughs> you get your ass. It's so big. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll embed a couple it's videos when, from the party. Whenever you say like, when, you, when you're when you saying something is Reese's, you like, you say Reese's, like the candy. Reese's pieces of cake. Like, like if this is Reese's cake. Alright Reese, we'll, we'll let you Reese's go. We're just cake. rambling it's now. Reese is cake. Call me if you uh, have any more uh, weird conversations, like if I'm going to die in a second or in a minute or however long it takes for the virus to kick in. Okay. <laughs> okay. We might call you next episode. Yeah. Okay. All right, bye. See ya. I see. He was, he's a good one. See, we got to try right, other people. All right, goodbye, guys. Yeah. We need uh, people to Thanks vote. for listening. Hang on, we're not going yet. Oh. We're still one more. One oh, we more. have another decision. <laughs> yeah. He said, all right, bye, guys. <laughs> see you. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't tell the group, I didn't mention that. I didn't tell the group about the bite. <laughs> really? Yeah. So me and Reese would. Yeah. I, well, I, actually, Reese doesn't know. I just didn't want to freak anybody out, and I knew that I had to get Clementine back, and I didn't want anything to slow me down. Interesting. But anyway. I just wanted to be honest with everyone. Um, so now we are going to, <laughs> the group, are we going to bring the group uh, okay, so Lee asked the group if do you want them to stay at the house or do you want them to help you find Clementine? What did you say? This is a little question. Oh yeah, um I want the group to stay together. And I'm bitten, so come be by my side. <laughs> so you can die. Like I need I need I'll probably need help. Like I, I want all of you with me. Let's all do this together. But they don't really care about Clementine as much as I do. They care about her, but, you know, well, really care about My her. Kenny didn't care about her at all. Your Kenny did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you don't know this, Kenny can be a total, like, not a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> he can be a bad guy if, yeah. you, if you don't like him at the very beginning. He'll, he'll be, like, mean for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah. I asked them to help. My Kenny said no. Your Kenny said yes. And that's it for Talking Telltale. Yes, it is. Episode four. We're doing one more episode of The Walking Dead. Season one. Season one. I don't know what we're going to do next. Probably season two. Maybe. Or maybe another Telltale. Maybe Tales from the Borderlands. Okay. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. See you. Come on. <laughs> hey. Brett, um, since I like the way you look right now, can I take a picture with you? Yeah.